Now, fresh optimism has been injected into South Africa's search for a functional cure for HIV AIDS. A Durban-based scientist has been awarded over two and a half million dollars to fund research in this regard. A boost for South Africa's fight against HIV and AIDS. And Professor Thumbi Ndungu is heartened. He is an investigator at the Africa Health Research Institute and affiliated to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. The grant is from biopharmaceutical company Gilead Sciences. $2.8 million over three years, primarily focusing on a functional cure. So if we can achieve what we call a functional cure, which means that the individual is infected with the virus, but they are living, they are able to live without uh, antiretroviral drugs and still be able to control the virus. So this, this grant is really going to be addressing that particular question of whether we can achieve uh, a functional cure within, uh, within our setting here in South Africa. Young women are in sharp focus. What we do is we recruit young women who are not HIV infected, we follow them over time and we provide them with this uh, socioeconomic empowerment, but in the process a few of them do get HIV infected because these are people who are just going about their normal lives. Uh, so you cannot completely prevent uh, HIV infection in some of them. So when they get infected, we then uh, study them to try and see whether we can achieve uh, an HIV cure by treating them very, very early. Knowledge obtained through the study will also inform vaccine development. We have a lot of vaccines that are now going to be entering what we call clinical trials, including here in South Africa. So I think that um, we are moving closer towards an HIV vaccine. We are not there yet, and I think it will take uh, perhaps many more years of research. Uh, I have no doubt that uh, it will take at least five years, perhaps even more, because when you do a vaccine trial, you actually don't know for sure that whether it's going to work or not. So we have to keep trying, and I think we are making progress, but we certainly don't have a vaccine at the moment that can prevent somebody from getting HIV AIDS. An incredible opportunity to make a tremendous difference. Blaine Herman, SABC News, Durban.